Hey guys, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So, I made it before, uh, I made it before Daisy May leaves, so this time I could actually get turnips. And, uh, just to let you guys know, yeah, I, I'm on my break from work, and I ran home so I can quickly show what the heck Daisy May does, so. Don't worry, I got this. We're gonna buy some turnips today. A million dollars worth, so let's go. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Terra, it's 11, 11 a.m. on Sunday, April 19, 2020. I don't really have any big news to share today, but it's the start of a new week and hope it lives up to each and every one of your expectations. Well then, Isabel signing off. See, that's another time that she didn't actually say something was going on. Like, usually she's like, oh, my TV showed this cooking show and there was pizza and here's, here's a recipe or or even if she didn't give me the recipe, I'd been fine to like read off what she says. This time she didn't. All right, we'll check our mail real quick because we're not completely in a rush. We still have like 40 minutes. Ooh, um, 83,784 points, rank A. The 70,000 point milestone is something to remember. Cool, that's awesome. And I got a bunch of other stuff, which I'm gonna probably have to put in my house <laughs> because I can't deal with right now. Let's see what I got for a present, though. The present is a bronze HHA trophy. I think I already had a bronze, though. I don't know why I'd get another one. I'll take... Oh, wait, no, it's a trophy. It's not a pendant. So this time we're getting trophies. Cool. So let's put all this stuff away. Even our tools, because we're going to need to buy... Oh, I'm going to have to open all of these before... <laughs> I am! I can't even put them, like, on the ground or anything. So, I don't need anything. I, I need to buy as much... No, that's not what I meant. I need to buy as much um, stuff as possible. As much turnips as possible. So I'm going to have to put all this stuff away. And then pick it up later on, which I could do. It's pretty easy. This will be, like, the first time that I don't have anything on my person, though. Usually I at least leave one tool with myself, but I didn't this time. So we're going to pull out the whole amount of money that I have in my bank account, which is not a lot anymore because I did have to spend a lot of money on the other house building it and everything, which uh, that alone is like over a little bit 50 mil or, or over half a mil. So it was a lot, none to say the least. And I also paid off my house, which was a mil. So man, I, I am poor. Hey guys. Aw, oh, come on. Biscuit and Apple are gonna talk. Yay, it's random. You look great today. I'm feeling pretty fashionable too. Hardly a food stain on me today. I thought they were about to talk. I was about to get in the middle of that and be like, yo, sometimes you settle arguments or you just talk to them, which I was hoping for. Hey guys, I'm here today and none of them noticed me. So let's go straight into this. Yeah, I messed up my day streak because I forgot to come in here, but it's okay. Now we're gonna pull out all of that money. She's a million. It's sad, but we're going to make some money. All right, we're going to make a lot of money. I wonder how much a million would actually take up spaces. How much spaces it actually takes up. So it takes up a whole line. But I'm going to make a lot of money, okay? We're going to check turnip prices every single day and hope for the best. And maybe during the last few days, we might look elsewhere. Oh, there she is. She's right here. Uh, hello there, I'm Daisy May. I'm helping Graham Graham Joan out selling her garden grown turnips. I'm here every Sunday morning selling turnips, so swing on by to see me when you can. Ah, fooey, Daisy May, you forgot the sales pitch. Graham Graham's told me enough times I ought to remember how this goes by now. So, do you want to hear about how Saw Joan's stock market works? Yes, let's hear it. Um, okay, you can do this. So, turnips are a cute little root vegetable that are good for pickling or stewing. Ah, Graham Graham always says that the stock market turnips are for selling, not eating. I always forget. Anyways, if you time things right, they can be mighty nutritious for your bank account. Should I keep going on with the explanation? Let's hear it. Okay, now let's see then. Oh yeah, the whole point of buying our turnips is so that you can turn around and sell them for, at a profit. Graham Gam always says something about M turning up at profit. I don't exactly get it. Anyway, you know Timmy, right? He's always in the market for buying when it comes time for you to be selling. Should I be keep going? Sure, let's hear it. 
I want to see as much as I can from her. Okay, this is a real important part, so I'm going to try my best to explain it carefully. You don't want to buy these turnips and keep them for too long. They'll rot after one week. So if you buy some from me on a Sunday, you got to remember to sell them before the next Sunday. Graham Graham always says there's nothing worse than a tent full of rotten turnips, but it ain't true. Losing all those hard-earned bales you spent on, on them was worse, okay? That's the whole speech. So right now, turnips are going for 107 bales. You want to buy some? I'll buy some. Great. How many How many should I put you down for? There are 107 each, but we sell a bundle of 10. Uh, let's buy the max. That's not a lot. All right. 3,300 turnips come to that. Does that sound okay? That's not a lot of money, actually, so I, I, I gotta come back a few more times. But, that also means I'm gonna have to empty out a spot in my house. ZL, let's see. I think this is the turnip, Nook Miles. See, this is proof that I've never bought turnips, okay? I, I wanted to, but I never got the chance to. I wanted to do it on camera for all of you guys. I'm sticking to it, alright? I got him, and now we're gonna make room in our house for him. So I want to put them upstairs because that makes more sense to put them upstairs, but there's not a lot of room up there. And I could place some downstairs, so let's start with the downstairs first and then we'll make our way upstairs because there's a lot more room downstairs. And then we'll keep selling them to her and hope for the best. Okay. Let's drop. Drop. I can't believe there's an eat turnips. What if someone accidentally presses that? Drop item. No room to put anything. That's sad. Okay. We'll try for the next one then. So we got three more times to come do this. I think I'm going to run out of room in my downstairs. There's going to be turnips all over my house. <laughs> I kind of prepared for that though. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Alright. No room here. Let's try it right here. There's a lot of turnips. Best believe I hope to make a lot of money out of this. There's sometimes. So I'm buying them for 107 right now. But there's sometimes that they they buy them for like 500, and I'm like, holy crap! And people go online and was like, I'm gonna charge you like 500,000 to come in my place just so you can sell them. And I'm like, Jesus, why? It was so expensive. I guess if you're like doing this every single day, you kind of earn that anyway. Like you earn that much by getting the turnips, like either way. So you're like, eh, whatever, I could pay that. But that seems a bit excessive for me, you know? All right. Now we gotta go... Oh, there's no room. What What about that water cooler area? Okay. Oh, it went on top. That's awesome. Okay, so now I know I can stack them on top of the bookshelf. But we have to come back two more times, I think. So we can collect some more. Turnips are gonna make us bank, okay? Then we'll be able to afford a house. And then I'll be able to get turnips off camera instead since you've seen it. Maybe I won't, though. Maybe I'll keep doing it on camera just so you guys can see what I'm doing. But, where'd she go? She, like, disappeared. I'll find her again, though. I swear. I swear is it. She's kind of cute, though. Just the way she talks. Hey, Pudge. Uh, hey, it's Burrito. Uh, the sky today looks clear and dry. I bet that means the sun and the moon are happy. They are happy, Pudge. They are happy. Where is she, though? I was expecting her to like pop up in the same area, but I guess not. I guess she likes walking around. <laughs> She's not allowed to though. There's so much island for me to like look for her. Is this gonna be this every single time? Is this I'm just gonna have to keep looking for her? Alright, let's see. Nope, she's not over here. It's a rare butterfly right there, but I have no time. I have no time. And no resources anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Let's see, Daisy May, you are a pain. How far could you be? Ah, I want that bottle, but I don't want to get it yet. I want the I want the space, okay? I mean, it's gonna give me a DIY, right? Let's just grab it. If it's gonna give me a DIY, I could just learn it and then put it back down. So, let's learn it. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. All right. Uh, I thought this DIY. It's a mum cushion. I don't know what that is, but we'll check it out. And then we'll go back to looking for Daisy May because we need to find her. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's a mum cushion. It just looks like a chair. That's cool, though. And there's a balloon. How come I get so lucky when I'm not looking for that stuff? 
But when I am, none of it pops up. I forgot to sell my um, fruit yesterday, actually, for my trees. So a lot of the fruit is just a... Ooh, a money tree. Oh, this is just a thousand bells each. There's no profit in that, but that's okay. We'll deal. Man, there's a lot of areas to look for her. Where could she be? Let's see. She's not over here. She can't be. She's got to be somewhere around the front, right? Or maybe you could only buy once. That's not true. A lot of people get a bunch of stuff. Am I the only one that's getting unlucky with this? <laughs> Does she usually pop up in the same place, right? Leopold scared me. I thought he was I thought he was uh Daisy May at first. Come on. You could have gone too far. Maybe I missed her. No, I couldn't have. There's no way. We'll find her eventually. Oh, what's up? Uh, you know what? I think you're ready to learn one of my favorite reactions. Ah, do laughter. Ready? Wahaha. Oh, yay! I actually wanted the laughter one. This one was one of my favorite ones. I'm lucky that she didn't give me something, though. I was hoping that she wouldn't. And Daisy May, you better be back here, okay? I'm on limited time, alright? Got 20 minutes to find you and 20 minutes to buy stuff. Come on, Daisy. Where are you at? If I can't find her, you've seen the, the gist, I guess. I can go and do it myself, but I don't want to. I want it all. I want it all on camera. Prove that I'm actually doing it legit. I don't want anyone to think that I'm cheating or anything, because I don't. I keep this all legit. Alright, where... She can't have gone this far. There's no way, right? There is no way. Where did she go? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Daisy, what the heck? So she has to be near the middle. Because she couldn't have gone far, right? So let's check behind here. Nope. There you are! What the heck? I looked over here. She must have been behind the house. How many do you want? I want to buy all of them. How many should I put you down for? There are 170 bells each. Or 107 bells. There were 107. That'd be... Or 170. That'd be a lot. Yes, I want some more. That means I'll have to come back maybe a few more times, actually. So two more times. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right. So let's go place them back down. These are still a lot, though. <laughs> There's still a lot of room in my inventory. Oh, I almost skipped my house. I keep forgetting. My house is the biggest one here. In fact, a lot of the villagers talk about how big your house is after you make it big. They're like, oh, your house is huge. And you're like, thanks, fam. All hard work and dedication. If only they would put that hard work and dedication and actually contribute to the things that I make. Anyway. I give a biscuit a pass, though. Biscuit's my best friend. Maybe I should say good for you and and, and put it towards Biscuit because he's, he's a good dog. It's my favorite animal. Okay. Dropping. Dropping. I think that's it for room in here, right? Maybe I could try to fit some on that table, too. Let's try. Bam. One more? Nope. I could probably go on the other side and try to fit it again. But, you know what I could do? Bam! And then I could fit one. On the ground. Oh, look, I even put it on the table. It's perfect. Perfect. It looks beautiful. Now, for the bedroom. Because I want to make sure I have a lot of room to put these down, so the bedroom would probably be the better idea, since it's one of the bigger one rooms in this house. So, let's start placing. Alright. I wonder if anyone accidentally, like, draw or ate ten. I don't even know why they'd give you the option. Does it give you, like, something super? There's gotta be something bit good with it. I don't know. I don't know anyone who would buy just to eat them, though. They're stock market stuff. You want to make money. That's the point of them, right? Okay. It looks like the room up here is not that much because of how much furniture I actually have up here. But if worse comes to worse, we'll remove all the furniture. See, but the thing is, I only want to buy a million turnips or a million doll or bells worth of turnips at a time. I don't want to go too crazy with it and start buying things that I don't actually need. Like, the amount of that I don't actually need. Because I don't want to make too much money to where, like, this game's a breeze. 
I just want to make enough so I don't have to grind every night. <laughs> Even though I didn't last night. I keep forgetting. Each night I keep forgetting. So when I first started the game, I was like grinding every night for tarantulas. It, and I think it was on, on part because it was easier in March to get tarantulas. Now that there's water bugs, it makes it harder. And I think I do a pretty good job. May, come here. Back for more, huh? I'll buy some. Great, how many... Let's see, hopefully I run out of money completely. That's what I'm hoping for. Alright, does that sound okay? I'll buy. Come again. You know, I kind of want to look what's in the shop too before I go home and put these down again. Because what if there's some good stuff in the shop and I just sold all of my stuff? I hope not. This is gonna suck if there is. <laughs> there's some good stuff and I have no money anymore. Meh. That's all the stuff I have. Other than the pen and the ink stuff, that would be cool in like an office room. Other than that though, I have both of those things in the back. So, not interested. However... What's hot, the hot item of the day? Uh, robot hero. Dang, imagine selling that. Hey, I don't think it... Oh, Hey, Biscuit, what's up? Oh, we meet again, dog. Let's talk. Your friend, girl gamers who visited us the other day, I think they'll visit again. They're from Rainbow Fun, right? That's pretty far, but I hope they drop by again, dog. Yeah, they drop by, but they only drop by to buy stuff from me. Or I think it was me selling stuff. I don't remember if they were the one that gave me the, like... Oh, they were the one that gave me the uh, little dumbbell thingy. Not the bench press, but the other thing. I don't remember, but they gave me that. There's a lot of people that I've traded with, and I hope they stop talking about the people that I trade with. Maybe I should start going to their islands instead of coming to mine. But it's okay. I wonder if I could put turnips on the top bunk bed. Oh, nope. That's not what I meant to do. Let's try it. Top bunk bed? Nope. Not happening. Well, maybe if I get closer? Nope. Not happening. Alright. Back to dropping turnips. A lot of turnips, I'll tell you that. That's for sure. I'm going to be mad if I don't get any in return. This was probably a bad idea. Because what if I end up not getting a lot of money? What if I end up forgetting about the turnips? Oof, that would be bad. If worse comes to worst, we'll cry. And never pick up Animal Crossing again. That's not true, by the way. I love this game. Let's move this. I don't think I have enough room down here, actually. Oh, man. So we'll put some down in our front room, I guess. But not before we put some right here. Turnips on the ground and turnips on the top. Nope. Does not go on top of the shelf. Um, I think that's my whole room. So we'll go in my back room, which I think is the workshop. And I think that would fit enough. Or I could do it in my living room. Yeah, I could do it in my living room. Let's do it. Instead of going all the way to the top. Man, selling these is going to suck. I'm going to try to sell them at my place, but if I had to sell them somewhere else, which I assume that's probably going to happen. No, I have four left. Let me drop these four. Okay. There we go. And that is for the turnips. I think we got all of the turnips. <sighs> that's sad, though. That's a lot of money. I am poor now. And I think it's going to stay that way for a while. So, I guess I'm going to have to get used to the poor life. What does one poor person even do? Let's get all our items back, though. I don't want to walk around with, like, nothing. I have a lot of music in here. I gotta put those up or something. Alright. There's shells in here, too? Oh, those are min manila clams. That's right. I'll have to grab them later. So, I grab all this stuff with just a few... So I can actually put them back in my inventory space. That way they don't just get put anywhere. Because I don't like when they get put anywhere. There's 20 here. 20 sticks. And this way, when I have some in my pocket, I'm able to, like, make stuff if I need to. Um, let's see. Why do I have a white pansy in here? I have no clue. I have this fruit in here just in case. Oh. Just in case I ever, like, the trees ever, something happens to them, I could just replant them again. Um, let's see. These are all my tools. Bam. 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 Um, fish umbrella. 
I don't think there's anything else that I've, I've gotten. I could probably sell these, actually, now that I'm looking at them. Because I don't need them anymore. But that fish was part of the first... The fish and the tarantula. The koi fish and the tarantula were the first things that I've gotten when I was on this island. So I don't know if I should keep them for reasons of, uh, you know, it's a remembrance. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't decided. Maybe I'll decide eventually, but as of right now, I think I'm just going to chill with them. So let's put them back in our inventory and we'll decide whether or not. So let me know. Let me know if you want me to keep the fish that I've gotten just because they were the first things that I've decorated my house with. Or if you think that I should just toss them out because they're not meh. There's no monetary value with that, okay? I need to learn the difference between keeping something because I like it or keeping stuff because monetary value. I don't know. Cast your votes in the comments and let me know. Uh, so, if you by this time you should probably notice that I've been posting two videos per day. I don't know if I continue to do that for Animal Crossing, but I'm going to slow down to one video a day again. Um, I just wanted you guys to catch up to where I'm at now because I've been thinking about allowing people or not really allowing but me going to other people's islands allowing myself to go to other people's islands and being able to record it or people come to my island so that way nobody really gets a sneak peek of like what's coming or what's gonna happen it's just all right there right on screen so let me know if you think that's a good idea. I'll go to other people's islands, people come to mine, I'll show them around, and that'll be on a video. So, if you want to be on a video as well, go down in my Discord and join my Discord with the link in the description. It should be the newest link, so if you go in the description and click on the Discord link, you should go straight to the Discord channel. And there we do matchmaking and stuff like that, so you'd be able to join one of my games and relax and just have a, have a dandy time. So if you do that, that would be lit, and once you get here, uh, once you get in the Discord, there'll be a matchmaking place and a roles thing. You can pick your roles on what games you play. There'll be more roles added as more people decide, but yeah. So you can pick your roles and bam, we got a whole community of people wanting to play together, and then you can be in a video with me too if I'm ever not busy, because <laughs> not only do I do YouTube kind of like every single day. I also work full time and I work every day other than Wednesday and Thursday, which is why I try to post a video every Wednesday. Um, I post twice Wednesday because I have enough time on that day to actually edit a good video. So I do my best editing on that day. Probably not my best, probably like, oh, I should probably edit this and I do something just an edit. I don't do my best. I think Doing my best is really hard and time consuming, and it ends up making me lose, you know, my feeling of like wanting to do it anymore. So I end up putting just like, I'd say 75% of effort in editing. However, I've been doing this new editing style where I uh, edit daily. Like I edit like 30 minutes of a video each day. And then once it gets to Wednesday when I actually used to edit, the video. I just automatically do other extra stuff that I could do, um, add some zooms and stuff like that, and that way it's like all there instead of just partly there and I wanted to get it out right away so I had content. Now it'll be more hands-on and put together, more put together should I say. That also means my schedule will be super busy, but I think it's fun because then I got something to do. Especially during quarantine, there's not much to do. I can't go out and see a movie no more, can't do things that I used to be able to do with my girlfriend, so we're, we're kind of just stuck at home. This gives us both things to do, because she gets to chill and play Animal Crossing all the time, and I get to do all this other fun stuff. But yeah, that that's my life story. <laughs> it honestly felt like I was going through a life story. So real quick, I'm going to like finish off these trees, maybe finish off the top trees, sell this stuff real quick, and then we'll call an episode. I want to make back some money at least. Because I do not have a lot of money. As of right now, at least. So, let's see. Uh, but yeah, that was a mouthful, just to go over that. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll answer video by video. But, in my Discord, there's also a cool community of people that just like chilling, too. 
And I'm going to give a few shout outs real quick because they're my homies. You got Spiciest Pig and Tot. And he also got Mikan, Mikan Sum, Sumiki and Comic Affinity and Dragon. You guys are the most active right there. I don't know if there was anybody else that were active. These are the people that's been talking in the past few days. And shout out to you guys for being... Oh, yes. And Sentry Nerd. I didn't forget about you. You're one of my most active people. Um, shout out to you guys. You guys have been really cool. It's fun talking to you guys in the Discord, too. So... Yeah, if you guys want a piece of that action cake, come join the Discord and we get all chillaxed, start a little community together. We try to be a cool, relaxed community, so. Yeah, there's there's the news on that. And I'll probably spread this out through multiple videos. Like, I'll start saying this and a few more videos after this. Please don't get bored of it. It's just, most people don't watch to this extent of the video. Most people just watch a few, like, minutes of it up to the point where they needed to see like what they wanted to know and then they click off so this is for the people who actually stay longer and then the people who don't stay longer the other videos will be for you because i'll keep saying it over and over but there'll be a point where i'll stop saying it okay don't worry it's not gonna be an everyday thing um also another thing to add on to this or there was something that i had in my mind i can't remember it now um yeah, it's lost. It's totally lost to me. Oh, no, 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 I remember. Also to the people that come on my videos and watch and click off, you know, you could subscribe. There's a subscribe button because uh, according to my YouTube right now, 80% of my viewers are unsubscribed right now, which is okay. You could, you could stay unsubscribed if you feel like it, but if you like my content and end up coming back, you should subscribe, show your support, maybe even throw in a like if you want. That, that it would be nice. Look at that. I earned sixty thousand dollars or sixty thousand bells back, so at least I got some money back. But yeah, most of this video was just me talking about everything that's going on during the YouTube channel and every and, and the community I'm trying to build up. So I think that would end off this video though. It's been a productive little video. I've gotten a bunch of uh, turnips or two turnips, tulips, turnips. I keep getting those mixed up. I think tulips are flowers, so I shouldn't say that. Turnips. Turnips. Okay. Anyway. I got a bunch of turnips. We got the, the stock market up, up in our minds. So next video, we'll check to see what the prices are. And if they're above 200, we'll, we'll take it. We'll, we'll try to get above 200 so we can kind of double profit and we'll have 2 million. And then we'll try a million next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a really good night. Do not let the bird bugs bite. And have a good morning if it's morning. See you later, guys. Peace.